balance is much more about your about you looking inside yourself rather than trying to literally balance some bricks on top of each other you know some kids bricks um, although that is part of it you know you're trying to actually align things so that everything is is a column but it's much more about your ability to let go internally um, and that's why things like stretching is very very important um, because when you stretch you're opening the ligaments and the tendons and they become more flexible as a result which means that there's no longer any brittle quality to them which which Im, um, impacts your balance so anything brittle is likely to you know you're going to hold on to it because you don't want it to snap in effect I mean, it's not nearly as extreme as that in the human body, but we need to actually have the body flexible. So let's begin by doing the stretch exercise. And this is invaluable as far as balance goes, although it wouldn't appear so. So you interlock your fingers and you lift up and you rotate and you push up. Head goes level, lean to your left, back to the front, lean to your right and then back and you're going to turn left now work from the ankles upwards so ankles shins knees thighs hip uh, chest head finally and then come out of it and then the other side so you're feeling bits of your body all the way up until the last thing to turn is your nose yeah and then you grip the floor with your toes gently you push your pelvis forward and then you push your chest forwards so we're kind of arcing the back slightly there. And then down you go, fold from the pelvis, and then by all means allow your back to round, and you go to your knees perhaps, or your calves, and you turn left, and you turn back, and you turn right, and you turn back. Bend your knees, sit down, push the bottom up, split your hands pull yourself down straightening the back of your legs and then up you come and one just to shoulder height two and down and three and just lower good so we're going to do it again in a second. It is a stretch exercise, so it may feel uncomfortable. There are two postures I note that noticed um, when I do this face to face that people, they don't really um, go for it. And I'm not saying you should go 100% or anything, but you know, you should only go about 70, but you know the one where you're down here and you turn to the left or right, you turn to the left so that your hands are on the left or side, right side of you. The arms don't actually move. I've noticed sometimes people try and bring the arms, you know, go to the left and then they try and do this with the arms to make themselves feel like they're going further to left or right. No, it's not that. Actually, what should happen is your shoulders should turn this way and your pelvis should turn forward. So we've got this, this actions going on with the, up, with the upper torso. And it should feel uncomfortable on your legs unless you're super stretchy there, which I'm not that stretchy on that. So I feel it on the back of my legs when I do that. I feel a pull. But you want that pull because that's when you know that you're actually beginning to stretch your tendons and the ligaments to a certain extent, but the tendons in particular. Okay, so interlock, lift up, one. Head level, leaning left. Now compensate with your pelvis going the other way. You know, you've got weights going to one side with the arms. You know, your arms together weigh about 18 pounds, so you've got to use the other side of the body to balance, to counterbalance. Now, from the ankles, shins, knees, thighs, hips, waist, chest, neck, chin, eyes, undo it. And the other side. And undo it. Grip floor, just gently. Pelvis forward, chest forward. 
and then up you come. So we're now going down. First of all, fold from the pelvis and then allow your back to arc slightly, to arch, to bow, and you're down to wherever you want to go. Here's the one. Turn to your left and make sure your pelvis is going towards your screen. So the right side of your pelvis is going towards your screen. Come out of it. And now, other side. And then back. Now bend your knees, sit down. Push your knees well forwards towards your screen until the heels almost come off the ground. And then lift up. Hands grab your ankles at the back. And then up you come. One. Two. And three. And la. Yeah, so this turning to the uh, left and right one, when you're down here, this turning, it's quite an interesting one because it opens up the sides of your body here. And that's really what we want there. There aren't many... Okay, so you can do exercises which do this. But because you're stretched in this position, when you do this, it's, exa it, it's exaggerated. The stretch is exaggerated. So you're careful. You know, you don't, don't harm yourself or anything like that. But... Um, this is the beginning of get your body flexible and then balance just becomes that much easier. Um, so the next thing about balance, and this is all stuff we've done before, it's, um, it's about your posture. You know, your posture is absolutely vital here. So balance requires that you, in effect, are like one of those... Um, uh, children's toys where you can't knock it over it's got a very rounded base there there's all sorts of shapes on the top part you know a policeman or something whatever it is you know <laughs> but you try and knock it and it goes tum, 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 and it comes back again in other words it's got a very low center of gravity so and this is another thing you just have to practice if you have balance problems you have to practice this and you can practice it when you're walking you can practice it when you're even when you're sitting down, you can practice this because it's it's a feeling inside you. So the first thing we do is we're going to repeat an exercise that I've done on many occasions before. Get your weight in the middle of your feet, not on the ball, not on the heel. It's just in the middle somewhere. So it's evenly spread. OK, so and then the first thing you do is you just relax your pelvis. You, you drop it. So you are trying to be that children's toy that won't be knocked over and with a low center of gravity. So here, you just sink this completely. And then we're up to T3 here. Um, this, this point between your shoulder blades towards the top is the 12th point on the back channel there. Uh, I think it translates as body's pillar or the pillar of the body uh, is what the name is. Um, Shenju, Shenju, I think it's, it's S-H-E-N-Z-H-U if you romanizing it so this is this sinks first and then this bit here level at the back though on, on my back feels like it's just gently settling into here so in effect if you just feel both your shoulder blades are settling running down your back and connecting to here and then comes the head so you need your head upright so we've had the two methods of getting the head level one is with something which you're supporting, like a bag of something heavy on top of you here, flour, sugar, whatever I would usually mention. And you feel like you're supporting, you're not lifting it. All you're doing is you're stopping it from crushing you. So you match its imaginary weight. That's one way. And the other way is that you find a place where your head weighs nothing. And this alters the position. So you have to do all three, not together, but very close together. So it's like one, two, three. Yeah, so we go. Drop your pelvis, drop your shoulder blades, head weightless. Okay, and you'll find that you can speed this up. Now, when that happens, all you do is now you can shift your weight onto one leg. Yeah, you can lift the heel on this one even if you like. 
and now you come back. So the, the trick now is to try and do this left and right movement whilst not losing one, two, three. So you go onto one leg, heavy pelvis, shoulder blades dropping, head floating, and then back in the middle. And again, pelvis, shoulder blades, head. And again, pelvis, shoulder blades, head. And you have to feel these places. There's no good thinking them. You have to feel them. Thinking them is a mind activity. We do it's a brain activity. Feeling is not so much the same, is it? It's something else inside you. So you can start to lift the heel on that foot. We're now putting more and more weight onto each foot. Pelvis, shoulder blades float, and the heel's lifted. And you're getting to the point where only the tip of the toe is on the floor. So don't focus on the tip of your toe on the floor. That's going to unbalance you. Focus on the inside feeling. One, two, three. That's what you focus on. Back to the middle. And then one, two, three. And if you want, you can just lift it very slightly. And focus. One, two, three. And feel it inside, even though you're lifting. Keep feeling, even if the foot comes off the ground. And then one, two, three. And it's off. And if you lose your balance, don't worry, it doesn't matter. You know, you just, you just need to get the habit of every time you want to balance, this idea of one, two, three just becomes automatic. You don't have to think about it. And then you can lift higher if you like. And then one, two, three. And you're still really focusing on that, even though you're lifting the leg off the floor. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, so what happens is your leg weighs, um, I think your leg actually weighs 18 pounds approximately on, on an average adult, um, something like that. It's going to be not so precise, is it? It's going to be like somewhere between 16 and 20, depending on your size and your frame. <clears throat> but when you, when you, you know, because a lot of bone here, so and a lot of and if you if you're a muscle if you've got muscly legs it's, that weighs a lot as well. So when you come to actually release the foot off the ground at the moment the ground is still supporting my foot. As soon as I do that, I'm now supporting eighteen pounds of pressure, you know, weight. Uh, so say for example, now that means that my pelvis is going to engage more to do that. It's going to actually start to work more. And that's when you lose the one, two, three feel. So you just have to get used to it. So let's just do, you know, four, five, six of these or something like that. So you shift onto one leg and one, two, three, and then you lift the leg. Okay, so you're conscious of the fact that it weighs whatever it weighs. Just remember to keep relaxing. So one, two, three, and you just think internally completely. Second pair. One, two, three, and across. One, two, three, and across. Couple more, one on each side. Weightless head. Okay, so there's a few more factors about this, but I'm not going to bother about them now um i'll introduce them again next time but the, the other feature that happens is of course that when you lift the how are you lifting that leg off the ground what is your method of lifting the leg are you just tightening the muscles here from you know from the pelvis to the leg and just using here or are you actually relaxing your back in order to lift the leg so we'll 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 deal with that a bit more next time